Okay, we're learning the laws of Shabbos, section 305, Alacha 14. It is permitted for uh, domesticated animals, dogs, cats, and fowl, yeah, uh, chickens. chickens, yeah, to go about in a courtyard with a bell hanging from their necks, provided it was stuffed with wool or uh, fragments of cloth so that the clapper will not clang and emit musical t uh, uh, tunes as bells do. Mm. So they may not, uh, by contrast, go out to the public domain with a bell, not even in a town with an eruv, because of the impression that might be uh, created. It appears that they are being taken to the market to be sold. For the Talmudic era, it was common practice to hang a bell from, from an animal to make it attractive to, prospe to prospects, to prospective purchasers. Mm -hmm. This restriction applies whether the bell was hung around its neck or woven into its garments. For example, higher quality horses would be covered with garments so that they would not become filthy and bells would be woven into their garments. These garments are not considered as a burden for the animal because this was common practice even during the week. Stated above with regard to use that they go out a kivunois, they go out with, remember we learned before, whether they, their udders were, yeah. their, that were covered or the tail for either purpose, either to close their tails from from uh, the male to mount on them, or vice versa. In a contrast, in a courtyard, by contrast, it is permitted because there are no observers who would harbor such suspicions. True, all activities forbidden by our sages because of the impression that might be created are also forbidden even in one's most private chambers. Nevertheless, in this instance, even if the person would perform this action in a public place, he would not be sus uh, suspected of violating a scriptural commandment. Only the prohibition against commercial activity, which is a rabbinic decree. Hence, the sages did not rule that stringency and forbid this act even in a place where there are no observers. Similar, uh, similar laws apply in all analogies or an analogous situations. Yeah, the rest of it was was missing. It says in uh, 40, uh, 40, 41, this uh, parenthetic remarks are obviously a printer's editions. This edition should also found in the early printings of the Alta of Shukhano. Morgan Avram 205 quotes the opinion of Sefer Mrs. Godel, Smag, uh, which states that the rationale is that the bell is considered a burden for the animal. On this basis, the prohibition against allowing bells to be worn also applies to dogs, cats, and fowl that are, that are not sold in a such in such a manner. Elia Zuta quotes Sefer Ha Teruma, stating that bells are also uh, tied to fowl to make them attractive for sale. While that statement is found in that um, source, Sefer HaTuduma mentions that it is possible that even according to his opinion, the primary reason for the prohibition against animals wearing bells is that they are a burden, mm -hmm. or a burden like the opinion of Sefer Mitzvah's Golden. I don't know. I think I went to I had a cat. I put the phone on it, but I didn't. What page was that? What page was that?